subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. Red Cat Reading. Learn to read. Why people wear glasses. Seeing better. Do you wear glasses? Or has someone told you that you need glasses? If you already wear glasses, you know how much they help. If you don't wear glasses yet, but you need them, get ready to see better. Not everyone needs glasses, but many people do. Their eyes need a little help to work the way they should. First, let's learn about how eyes work. Then, we'll look at how glasses help. How your eyes work. Your eyes are like amazing cameras. All day long, they take pictures of the world around you. They send the pictures to your brain. Then, your brain makes sense of the pictures. Imagine taking a picture with a camera. Light rays from an object enter the camera through the lens. A camera lens is a special piece of glass. The light rays pass through the lens and get recorded on a computer chip. Your eyes also have lenses. Light rays pass through them. The light rays are recorded on your retinas, special areas at the back of your eyes. Your retinas change the light rays into light signals. The signals travel through your optic nerves to your brain. Look at this picture of a human eye. The colored part is the iris. The part in the middle is the pupil. The pupil is a hole in the middle of the iris. It lets light from the outside world into the eye. Is it a sunny day? The iris makes the pupil smaller, so less light enters. Is it dark outside? The iris makes the pupil bigger to let in more light. Now let's look at the main parts of the eye from the side. The cornea is a clear covering over the iris and pupil. Light passes through the cornea and then through the pupil. Can you guess where the light goes next? That's right, through your lens. The lenses in your eyes can change shape. They can become wider or thinner. Because they can, you can see things both close and far away. Hold your hand close to your face and spread your fingers. Look at your fingers. Now, look between your fingers at an object across the room. Your lenses are focusing on your fingers and then on the object far away. They are changing shape to help you see both things clearly. Nearsighted and farsighted. Some eyes need help to see well. Remember how light rays from objects are recorded on your retinas? Look at this diagram again. The image of the upside down tree is on the retina. That's because the eyeball is the right shape, round. Sometimes a person's eyeballs are a little too wide. When this happens, the image lands in front of the retinas. As a result, objects that are far away look blurry. This person is nearsighted. Sometimes a person's eyeballs are a little too thin. In this case, the image lands behind the retinas. Objects that are very close look blurry. This person is farsighted. Visiting an eye doctor. An eye doctor can tell you how much help your eyes need. You will look at different things with one eye covered. Then, you will cover your other eye and look at the same things. The doctor wants to know what kind of help each eye needs. Then, you will look at an eye chart. Read the smallest row of letters you can see clearly. Then, you will look through different little glass windows. Tell the doctor which windows help you read the chart better. The eye doctor will also look inside your eyes. You just have to sit very still. It doesn't hurt at all. After the doctor is finished, you will get a prescription. 
This is a piece of paper with numbers. The numbers stand for how to make the right glasses for your eyes. Getting glasses. Do you remember the lenses in cameras and eyes? Glasses have lenses too. The lenses are different shapes depending on the problem. They bend the light that enters the eyes. Then the images land on the retinas, not in front or behind them. You can try on many different glasses to find frames that you like. Then give a worker your prescription. Your glasses will be ready in a few hours or days. Have fun with your new glasses. It's great to see well. The end. Subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. For more stories and worksheets, check our website.